Namaste. Welcome everyone. My name is Cassandra. This is my dog Luna and I'm going to take you through a 15 minute morning yin yoga practice. So in yin poses that we'll be doing in our practice today will be held for 90 seconds to two minutes or so. I'm not using any props. If you have them at home, might as well have them close by, but you should be fine without them. We're going to begin in a butterfly forward fold. So you can bring the soles of your feet together, knees falling apart. So in yin yoga, we are trying to relax our muscles so there is no strength, no pushing, no pulling, no forcing your way into a pose. So I like to turn my palms to face up just as a reminder not to grab onto anything and not to force and just let your spine naturally round as you fold here. Letting go of any expectation you might have on yourself. First thing in the morning, usually our body is a lot tighter, but we'll be in this pose for about two minutes so you'll notice your body will naturally relax and soften. Take some slow, steady breaths. Use your time here to set the intention for your day. Bring some energy back into your arms. Push the hands into the floor to lift up inch by inch. Taking your time as you do so. And from this forward fold, we'll make our way into our deer pose. So you wanna bring your right shin parallel to the top of the mat and your left shin parallel to the longer edge of your mat knees aligned with your hips and you're trying to press and rotate that left hip down as you start walking your hands back behind you and you might just stay up on your palms some people like to go down on the forearms you might even be able to lay all the way back so looking for a nice big stretch along that inner left thigh you might feel also sensation through the right so playing a little bit with the angle of the knees, but it's about two 90 degree angles or so. And the lower you go towards the floor, the more intensely you'll feel this one.
let's come back up nice and slow making our way to the same pose on the other side so bringing your left shin forward to the top of the mat right shin in line with the long edge of your mat knees align with your hips and start to press that right hip back as you walk your hands back maybe lowering down onto your forearms or i find it easier and more stable to just stay up on my palms so less is definitely more in yin we are not chasing sensation the more you're able to relax and let gravity do the work for you the better this will be for the connective tissues and for your joints overall so just stay with your breath and really start to ask yourself what intention you'd like to set for the day ahead what word represents how you want to feel today? and lift your way up coming back through to center so we worked towards the inner hip the outer hip and now we'll focus on the back of the legs coming into a half butterfly so you can bring your right leg out to the side left foot to the inner groin and rotate so that you're facing over towards your right shin and start to fold on down. Remembering this is a passive fold. You don't need to have a straight spine. You don't need to grab a hold of anything and pull your way through. You can turn your palms up and just let gravity soften your chest, your shoulders and your head. If it feels like a little bit too much, another alternative is to stay up a little higher and just hold your head up with your arm or this is where you could also use some props. really important in our forward folds that we're not rushing out of poses and try to use arm strength to lift up keep breathing even as you lift and before we go to the other side we'll just do a little counter pose coming into a seated twist we're just holding this for a few breaths so you can cross your right foot over the top of your left thigh, sitting up nice and tall, maybe wrap 
your left arm around your right leg. You can bring your right hand behind you as you open into your twist. So find length through your spine. Twists are great to do after forward folds and after back bends. Draw your belly back and release to face forward. Let's go into our fold on the other side, half butterfly pose, or sometimes called half dragonfly. Left leg is out, right foot to the inside, bending into your right knee, any amount that feels good here. Don't worry if your knee is up high as well, this is normal for some people, it just depends on your hips. Start to rotate to face over towards your left leg, initiating the fold from here. Letting go of any expectations you have of yourself. So this might be easier, it might be harder than on the first side. Just make the adjustments that are necessary so that you can be as comfortable as possible in the pose. Relaxing your neck, your jaw, and your facial muscles. just as slowly as before come out walk your hands in until your shoulders align over your hips we'll take a seated twist on the other side so this time your left foot crosses over your right thigh and right knee try to anchor both sit bones down push into your big left toe wrap your right arm around your thigh use your left hand behind you for support as you lift and then twist One more big breath here and we'll release. Let's come to tabletop pose, hands and knees, setting ourselves up for a melting heart or a puppy stretch. So keeping your hips over your knees, you can walk your palms out in front of you, lowering head and chest down towards the floor. So hips are staying high getting a nice opening through your upper back into your shoulders and you might feel it in your chest a little bit as well or down into your arms
Instead of coming all the way out of this one, we'll just take a seed child's pose. So I like to just wiggle my knees in towards my belly until my hips can rest on my heels and you can stretch your arms in the other direction towards the back. Just let your shoulders relax. Just a nice neutral counter pose, staying here for a few breaths. Checking in to see how you're feeling this morning, physically, mentally, emotionally. And using this check-in to make a conscious choice on how you want to conduct yourself today. What you want to put your energy towards. And what you want to focus on. And you can use your hands to push into the floor. Come on up to take a seat in any way that is comfortable to you cross-legged or kneeling. Sitting up tall through your spine, you can join your hands at your heart. Making this connection to your heart space. Finding your one word. And we'll close with the chant of Om one time. Inhale to chant, big breath in. Oh. Namaste. Thank you so much, yogis. Oh, a good puppy stretch, yeah. Thank you so much for doing this morning yin yoga practice with me. I hope you feel energized for the day ahead and that you really have your intention for how you would like this day to go. Please let me know in the comments below what word you've chosen. I always love to read those. And let me know also if you would like more short morning yin yoga practices. I have lots of short morning flows, but very few yin style classes. So let me know, I'd be happy to do more. I love to do yin in the morning. Subscribe to my channel if you don't already, and I will practice again with you soon. If you'd like to stay longer, you can do this meditation right here. Thank you again. Namaste.